Eli in Wisconsin writes to me, Paul, I love your content. I assume you mean my video channel content, sir. <laughs> I've recently, thanks. I've recently gotten back into the hi-fi world and have binged a bunch of your videos. Ah, there you go. I guess this is a three or two part question depending on how you look at it. I was wondering if it matters how powerful your amp is. On the internet, I see power amps that are around 75 watts or 150 watts a channel, and then behemoths like the BHK Monoblock 600 watt amp. Is there really that much of a difference regarding sound quality and listening experience? I feel like a 600 watt Monoblock is a bit overkill. <laughs> but something closer to 200 or 150 or even 75 watts. Um, well, I guess we shouldn't discuss the M1200. Um, yeah, a 600 watt amplifier like the BHK600 is absolutely overkill. And that's the point. That's why we do it. Like having a car with a huge engine and driving to the supermarket. It's overkill, but it's there if you need it. You have the headroom that you need, and that is really the critical aspect that we want to pay attention to, headroom. And we've talked about this before. It's always good to, to oh, by the way, if you're wondering what all of this is, <laughs> look at this. I was just walking by heading up to Octave Studios to do some more videos and I looked inside and I thought, oh my God, look at this. But our chief engineer always gets involved in this. There's a big switch right here. You can probably hear it. And these are all uh, internet connections, you know, uh, Cat5. So we just are, re we're replacing our ancient phone system with a new one from a company called Ring Central. And these are all the phones that we're going to get. And it's supposed to be fancy schmancy. So, <sighs> progress, yes. Anyway, that's what all this is. Um, yeah, so headroom, big, big deal. And the reason that headroom is so important, the reason you want overkill is because of our desire to have not only a relaxed sound, but a majestic, powerful sound. When an orchestra, when a band goes from the very quiet to the very loud, you want no difference in sound quality. I, I use Mahler, Mahler's one of my favorite um, composers for big, orchestral pieces. He goes from the very quiet to the very loud. And the thing that drives me bananas in a sound system is when you've got it cranked up and the very quiet is there and you're just closing your eyes, you're being drawn into the music. This is, this is heaven. This is a rich emotional experience that is just, you know, it's why I'm an audiophile. I just, I love it. And then it starts getting loud and I'm like, whoa, okay, I'm being attacked, right? I don't want to feel attacked when it gets loud. Not at all. I want to feel like, yeah, 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 bring it on. That's what I want to feel. That's what I want to hear. And you get that when you have a lot of headroom. When you have an M1200, when you have a BHK600 or a pair of 300 monoblock amps, any of those are big overkill, and they're that way for that reason. So I hope that helps. And I don't think any, nope, nobody's there yet, but they're all hooked up. <laughs> all right, take it easy. <laughs> Bye.